measuring volume of liquids today we will learn how to measure volume of liquids using containers of standard units why are you all looking so upset elephant was ordered by his mother to bring 2 liters of milk but he forgot to bring vessel to fetch it we all are looking for a right vessel to help the elephant can you help us yes i will definitely help you but first answer some of my questions yes ask okay just look at the nearby shop and tell me what are those things that are found in a bottle bottle of honey bottle of cold drink bottle of oil bottle of shampoo well done can you match all these liquids with their right amount bottle of honey is of 500 ml bottle of cold drink is of 200 ml Bottle of oil is of five liters. Bottle of shampoo is of one liter. Exactly. So we saw that we use liters as units, and big containers for liquids which have more volume. And for liquids whose volume is less, we use small containers. and smaller units such as milliliter for them okay so we want a big container for the elephant so that he can fetch 2 liters of milk yes you got it right could you please explain it more elaborately sure look at this example chandu brother How much milk do you want today? I want four and a half liters of milk today. Look, Bolu, the milkman has four vessels. The largest one is of one liter, then five hundred ml, then two fifty ml, and then the smallest one is of hundred ml. Brother, which vessel will you use? to give 4 and 1/2 liters of milk i will use 1 liter container for four times to measure 4 liters of milk and 500 liters of container to measure the rest half a liter of the milk let me tell you another way you can also measure 4 liters of milk by using 1 liter of container for four times and 250 ml container for two times yes this can also be done pinky bring a container to fetch the milk bolo which container will be perfect for fetching milk i think this jug is perfect to contain all the milk This jug wouldn't be able to contain four and a half liters of milk. This will only contain two liters of milk. We shall use a small vessel. Daddy, is the vessel is perfect for fetching milk? Pinky, this vessel is small for containing that much milk. It can only carry four liters of milk. Bring a bigger vessel than this. Bolu this vessel is also not fit for carrying that much milk so you take this big vessel yes that would be fine is it the right vessel yes this can carry 4 and a half liters of milk let me pour milk into this Daddy, how much milk have you used for making tea? Son, I have used one liter of milk. Okay, now tell me, if I have used one liter of milk, 
out of four and a half liters of milk. Then how much milk is left? After taking out one liter, we are left with 3.5 liters of milk. Very good, Pinky. Now, could you please bring the cup of tea? Sure, Daddy. Here is the cup of tea. If each cup carries 200 milliliter of tea and I have made 10 cups of tea, now can you tell me how much milliliters of tea I have prepared? 2000 milliliter. Mm, 200 multiplied by 10 means 2 liter. Yes, you both are right. Daddy, how many teacups are sold yet? I have sold 10 cups till now. 7 cups means how much tea we have sold, Bulu? Hmm, if one cup contains 200 milliliter of tea, then 7 cups contain 7 multiplied by 200. That is 1400 milliliter of tea. So it means 1 liter and 400 milliliter of tea is sold. Yes, you are right. Now tell me how much tea is left? This is quite easy. If we subtract 1400 from 2 liters or 2000 milliliter of tea, we will be left with 600 ml of tea. So, what have we learnt from this example? We have learnt how to measure volume of liquids using containers of standard units. Now we can help elephant. Yes, now I will go and bring a vessel to fetch milk. Yes, you have made the right decision. Today, we have learnt how to measure volume of liquids using containers of standard units. Relation between liter and milliliter. Today, we will learn about the relation between measuring units of liquid liter and milliliter hello i am wise owl welcome to the forest all the animals of the forest come to me for suggestions and advices today i will tell you about the units liter and milliliters to measure liquids hey you all are panting from where are you all coming? We were playing in the forest and we are running from there only. We all are very thirsty. Would you please give us some water? Yes, sure. You all will get water. I will drink one drum of water. I want a bucket of water. I will drink a big vessel of water. I want a bowl of water. Thanks for giving us water. We all were very thirsty. Friends, I hope all of you have quenched your thirst. How many kilograms of water did you drink? Hey, hey! Liquids are not measured in kilograms. Then how? We measure liquids in liters and milliliters. What is liters and milliliters? Liters and milliliters are units used to measure liquids. There are thousand milliliters in a liter. Thousand milliliter? Yes. I drank thousand milliliter of water. You have drank more than five liters of water. Nearly about five liters. Did I also drank more than a liter of water? No, Cat Queen. You have drank even less than half a liter of water. Let me explain this to you in some detail. Look carefully at these vessels and fill these blanks 
according to the given measurement kids you can pause the video to find out the answer first i will tell tell drum because it is the largest of all and can carry 200 ml of liquid oh no no just now sir has told that milliliter is smaller than liters 1000 milliliters makes 1 liter so 2000 milliliter is much less than 1 liter so according to you what will be the right answer according to me a drum has a capacity of 20 liters very good okay so the capacity of bowl will be 200 ml right now you all have got it capacity of bucket is 5 liters and capacity of utensil is 2 liters very good kids sir please show some more examples look i have two bottles of cold drink and these empty bottles of 1 liter and 100 ml now you try to pour this cold drink in this empty bottle we cannot put 500 ml in a 100 ml bottle hmm now try to put this in the empty bottle of 1 liter oh it became full now yes so what have we learned from this two 500 liters of bottles make a liter Yes, right. Means on adding 500 ml to 500 ml, we get 1000 liters. 500 ml is also known as half a liter. So, can you give some more examples? Okay. I will recite a story to all of you. Pinky and Bholu live in the village with their parents. Pinky and Bholu got very thirsty while returning from school. Mom, I'm very thirsty. Okay, I'll make lemonade for everyone. We will also help you in making lemonade. Mother makes 1 liter of lemonade with the help of Bholu and Pinky and fills it in 4 glasses. Okay, I'll make lemonade for everyone. Now tell me if I divide 1 liter of lemonade into 4 equal parts how many quantity of lemonade will everyone get Hmm 400 ml No this is not right you tell Bholu Hmm I don't know please you explain mom How many milliliters are there in a liter 1000 milliliters Correct. Now if I fill these two glasses then how much lemonade will be left in the jug? Half the jug is still full. What is the half of a liter? Kids, you can pause the video and think about the answer. Five hundred ml. This means. Two glasses contains 500 ml of lemonade. Yes, mom. Can you tell how much lemonade is in one glass? Half of 500 ml. Very good. So, what's that? Kids, you can pause the video and think about the answer. We have to divide 500 by 2. 250. Very good, Bhulu. Daddy, we all got 250 ml of lemonade. Meanwhile, 
टू फ्रेंड्स ऑफ पिंकी अराइव वी शुड गिव लेमिनेट टू आवर फ्रेंड्स टू वाई डोंट वी शेयर अ पार्ट ऑफ आवर लेमिनेट विद दैम Look, in total, we have two glasses of lemonade. Then, how much lemonade will we all get? As Mom explained, we have five hundred ml of lemonade. You mean half a liter? Yes. Let's divide five hundred by four. Kids, you can pause the video and think about the answer. Look, we all will have one twenty-five ml of lemonade. Oh wow, Pinky, you have solved this too quickly. Today, we have learned about the relation between measuring units of liquid, liter, and milliliter. Relation between liter and milliliter. In the last video, we have learned about the relationship between liter and milliliter. In this video, we will learn about how to make one liter by combining different units. Do you know? Mixing 500 ml twice gives one liter. Yes, sir. Are there any other units which on adding gives 1 liters Sir ask a bit more clearly I couldn't understand For example do you think that glasses of 250 ml can be combined to form 1 liter Yes it can be made No I don't think so 1 liter can be made out of 250 ml hmm so let's see how 250 ml and other units can be combined to form a liter these two glasses have 250 ml of water if both of them combines how much water will we have hmm 500 ml water yes you are right elephant If we combine two more glasses of 500 ml water in it, then how much total water will we have? 500 ml and 500 ml means 1000 ml means 1 liter. Yes, correct. Now see, in one bottle we have 200 ml of oil and in the other we have 300 ml of oil. Now tell me to fill a 1000 ml bottle or 1 liter bottle how much oil will you need Is the answer 400 ml Look carefully on adding it gives 500 ml so adding one more 500 ml will form 1 liter Bolu your answer is right now tell How many 100 ml will add up to 1 liter? Adding 100 ml up to 10 times makes 1000 ml means 10 multiplied by 100 ml gives 1 liter. Now, answer one more question of mine. This bottle contains 200 ml of water. How many times 200 ml bottles should be added to give 1000 ml of water? I know that adding 200 ml for 5 times give 1000 ml or 1 liter. So, if in this bottle we put 200 ml of water for 4 times, then it will become 1 liter. Very good elephant. 5 times will make 1 liter. See this. We have 400 ml of milk. We need 1000 ml or 1 liter milk. Now look, these are the packets of 200 ml, 300 ml and 400 ml. Which three identical packets will combine to make 1000 ml? Is the answer 300 ml? On combining, I think it will make 1000 ml. I think The correct answer is 200 ml. 
mixing 3 packets of 200 milliliter makes 600 milliliter and mixing these 600 ml with 400 ml will make 1 liter yes right we can see that not only 500 milliliter but many more units can be combined to form a liter yes sir we got it so kids today we have learned how to make 1 liter by combining different units